Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Guido Baggins and his Wood Elves versus Gol Gol Bay and his Orcs. Uh, Gol Gol Bay has a Wizard as well and uh, two Mighty Blow Tacklers, a couple of Mighty Blow Guarders as well, a couple of Block Guard things. A really nice Mr. Thrower, except he's still movement 5, so he's still rubbish. Only 11 players. Uh, the Woodies also only have 11. And the Wood Elves, so much more likely to get banged out than the Orcs. Uh, tree, Add Jump Catcher, very nice. Strength up. Dancer. Instantly killed <laughs> Lineman. Dodge Guarder. Oh, and a Niggled Dancer. And it's the orcs with a wizard. <laughs> well, this looks a bit uncomfortable for the uh, for the woodies. They've got a, you know, the ball carriers, kind of immune to ball dancers in a way, right? He's got strength four for this dancer, and he's got sure hands for this one. Seen a bit of a uh, bit of a twat magnetism though, with uh, a 1D. Gets him down, outrageous. Oh, I think he should have come here, right? One, two, three, four. All this, all this sideline. And instead, <laughs> we see. Guido Baggins put chain this catcher out to harass the ball a little bit. It's not really achieving anything by itself though. So oh, KO. Walks down to ten. I mean, you've got to do something else, right, with this ball basing. So he's getting the edge there. And this guy's going to run through here. Is he? One, two, three, four, five. So this guy could have come through, right? That, that guard guy could have come through. That would have been pretty good. If he, he could have gone one, two, th right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like this, right? Just get in the way of it, because like, otherwise... All you've achieved with this pressure is getting a catch of three dice with a mighty blow tackle. Which doesn't seem much of a payoff, to be to be honest. I mean you did control the blitz, but so what? Getting full twat magneted here. But getting the knockdown again. Oh, exactly. Dog to the dog, yep. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh my god, skull into removal. Yeah, that's the thing, like basing the ball here is just not doing basically anything. Tree stays down. So the payoff to the twat magnetization there for the orcs. Maybe you want to, as the elves, maybe you should like, you know, screen harder here and here so that the only place they can go is where the tree is. Try and encourage them onto the tree. Which obviously you're not going to encourage them on the tree, but like, it seems weird to. I don't know, you know, have like some players here. And some players here might have been an idea. But I guess. This is fine. Like, you're still going to want to go over here as the Hawks are so slow. Like, Mr. Throw is so slow. 
Maybe maybe that base in the ball that wasn't even that bad just because the throw is so slow. It's just literally so slow. The three Dean back again. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I hate that. So I thought it was fine when he's basing the ball right, but this time you want to be blitzing this guy. Getting forward more. Oh, I don't like this. Do I not like this? Turns out it was fantastic uh, running that blood step up behind enemy lines. And now you're just giving up a 2D here, 2D here, and then a 2D on this guy as well, maybe. So you give up a hit, but it's against armor 9, but you get a slightly more protected things. Hmm. It's interesting, isn't it? Because Blitzing with Mighty Blow is better. Maybe like this guy could have gone up to assist. One, two, three, four, like one, two, three, four, five, right? Some, no, no, it can't be this. So maybe he should have brought somebody from the back up to assist so that this guy could have got one more square forward. Things like that maximize movement a bit. Yeah, it's taken them a long time to move up in the movement five, so. But yeah, maybe he could have been stronger over here to to encourage him over the tree, indeed. Indeed, more dready. Mm. There's no thrower, uh, oh yeah, there's just uh, two blitzers and a catcher. Or two dancers and a catcher, or two catchers and a dancer, there's no, there's no thrower. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that the tree is, is still pretty strong here isn't he like completely shutting off the switch and then just allowing the elves to defend like about an 8 wide pitch instead of a 13 wide pitch well, not, eight wide, not a 13 wide pitch no, it's about a 15 wide pitch really maximised the mighty blow hits, but this is one of the times where, you know, like, maybe he shouldn't have, right, because he's in trouble, uh, still in his own half on turn five, and and basically every blitz has been blitzing with mighty blow, and he hasn't been, like, maximising forward movement, and he really probably should have been prioritising movement at some points. He, and he could have still even made some of them with mighty blow, but I think he needed to be more concerned about getting forward. Because L's, L's are scum, right? They can just two plus out everyone, and then all of a sudden they've got a really great screen, and you just can't do anything. Like you have to, you have to, you have to create penetration versus L's. I just have to. he do <laughs> not a lot but yeah the, I mean Mr. Throw's kind of good right but he's still movement 5 
and that's his that's his biggest fault. And you don't you don't change the fact he's movement five by giving him strength four and edge four. He's still slow, still slow as balls. Yeah, this is not this is really bad. Yeah, absolute zero penetration and. Oh wow. Well, some dice to roll to get a decent screen here. Not many dice to roll. Push him up the tree, lovely. Finally rolls his one. But yeah, just about enough, yeah, yeah. So you know that early, that early controlling the blitz uh, looks to really have paid off. Oh, I hate this. I, not like, I really hate this. Oh no. Oh man, that was too, too greedy, wasn't it? The whole thing was too greedy. Just, just blitz this guy with a black orc and you're through. Oof. Oof. There's been two kind of greed. Look, funnily enough, after watching the, after just watching the Hancock one, with you know, maybe he's not padding on enough. Um, to this one where it's been too much. I must blitz with mighty blow when like he was in severe. Like Hancock was up, right? Hancock was up, and so therefore had to be prioritizing. Like you want to be prioritizing. Um, attrition blitzes if you can and like you want to be able to make positional blitzes with your attrition piece right but um, like so there was came a point pretty quickly in the first half of Hancock where he should have been all about the attrition he did not need position at all so he should have been all about the, the attrition blitzes whereas you know the orcs here should have been all about the position and like to the point where they could have given up some mighty blow hits to generate forward movement and it's been real real sad for them yeah that was it was pretty bad uh, ducky sorry yeah it's pretty but pretty bad like it was just all he had like and he used the bolt for that chance as well right like if you're using the bolt there it's to Blitz the other guy with that black orb, wasn't it? And then just get through here, like just walk through for free, not on pushes you walk through, whereas this needed Yeah, like a fifty-five percent chance to get through it was really poor. But you know uh, chalice nerves or whatever, and could have just been a mistake, could have been tunnel visioning, there's you know, there's all sorts of reasons why he could have gone for that, but it was it was not good. <laughs> I wonder if he should have leapt in here. Because uh, you don't want to be strength six, right? So he could have uh, leapt in with a wrestler. And then if he powered him, he could have had a shot at the counter score. But I guess it's not worth, it's not worth risking a dancer for. He could have done the leap in, and if he used the reroll on the leap in, he could have just not hit. Could have been an idea. And Lyman stays out, so there's only 10 orcs versus 9 elves. The elves will surely dacker. I think Dak is just generally a good plan on offense, honestly. It's it's just actually really strong. Glorious Orc successfully defended their offense. Yeah. Blizzard. 
That's interesting, isn't it? Well, he's not daggering because he's got four guys on the LOS. And he's not quick scoring. So. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Uh, no idea, Chunky Chihuahua. Could I think you can look on replays as to who won the toss, but uh, didn't look. <laughs> mm. So this is the rare. Not a two turn and not a DACA offense, which seems the worst of all possible worlds. Mm. Well, this is just like the kind of standard kind of raggedy or you know, raggedy uh, elf offense that we've. Endured for years, right? But, um, Dak is just elevated elf offense to the next level. <laughs> yeah, not modern enough. <laughs> Yeah, we just needed we just needed one cowardly Italian dude. <laughs> Brilliant. Not engaging. I would have engaged heavily here. I would, I would base all men's. He's got some tackle dudes, right? You can whack some tackle dudes on some of the uh, non on some of the dodge guys. Whack some non tackle guys on the non dodge guys. Get up in their face. Try and make something happen because you're at nil nil and you're against elves. So you kind of need something to happen here, or they're just going to score on you. I mean, we should. We should, Nolly. That's a great idea. I'll hold the money. <laughs> I volunteer holding the money. <laughs> the, be I, the best thing was God here saying it on stream and also saying... Uh, saying in the discord if you don't like it refund and move on which is the absolute best advice that like people should really take to heart yeah like like basically can't stop woody scoring like no team can really stop woody scoring right you have to like not by not engaging right you have to you have to engage and, and make them roll some dice and you know hope they get out of position or whatever. You can't just sit back and hope for the best. Indeed, sick, indeed. No, well maybe you can sit back and hope they do some random move because that's pretty wild. <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> okay. Weird. Vanity dodge through tackle. <laughs> Ugh, don't say that. No. Ugh. Ugh. Double ones. Yeah, 
Yeah, this was. Uh, I did not like this turn. <laughs> but he hasn't got a tackle here. Oh, no, he's got it here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's, it's not really a gate. As much as I hate that turn, there's not really a gate, is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One D. The tackle bits are not really modded. Oh, you could have four three. It's not great though, is it? Okay, let, let's let's prove Mordred wrong. <laughs> Seeing as we can uh, do this on replays. This one. How's he doing it? You didn't listen to Nolly, did you? You didn't listen to Nolly saying there was a gate there, did you? Oh no, don't listen to Nolly. So if you play a million miles an hour, what you might do is uh, is go, oh, this is just a three plus. And then there's this little known skill called diving tackle. <laughs> and that would catch you out and it would be a five plus dodge. <laughs> there you go. But no, fair enough, like it looks like it's a three plus, but yeah. <laughs> Banter. So yeah, how wait, wait, was he like here or something? Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, it's rough, isn't it? Oh, he thought it was sprint. I see what you did. Very good. They actually, uh, they actually start with sprinting. This is alright though, isn't it? Getting stand firm in the way. It's alright. Maybe this guy, he can't really GFI either, can he? Because of the blizzard. Reroll to get the POW. So now no reroll for the dodge. Makes the dodge. Doesn't score. I guess he's got two two pluses. Yeah, I, I just didn't like the previous turn from the elves, but like it worked out. The thing is, it's weird, isn't it? Elves can get like elves can like take turns off, and can do weird things that get saved by the dice more likely than not, than bash teams can. Elves are weird. It's an extra turn. Well, he can, he's got a got a score here, pretty much. Isn't he? <laughs> God bless him. He's tried. <laughs> like it's weird because there wasn't any pressure from the orcs, right? The, the, the lack of pressure from the orcs just meant that that like all those dice to break through when he did broke him through like three turns early or whatever. And it was a lot of dice that could have easily gone wrong. But it's worked out for him. To, an, to a point, still three turns for the Orcs, but obviously unlikely the Orcs score with a, in a blizzard with a movement five thrower. <laughs> Not the best. Not the best... Uh... Scoring. Yeah, he didn't score with eight turns, but there are less there are less elves on the field now, down to eight. 
Mr. Throw is OP. Oh. Yeah, at least he doesn't have to throw on a mass. Yeah, maybe you can use him to throw to, like, you know, a blitzer. So, like, maybe you can utilize the throwing side of his throw. But. Could get a touchback. Brilliant coaching. Oh. So he's got a reroll for every turn now. Maybe. Oh, one. He can't even reach the ball. <laughs> Fucking missed the throw. <laughs> he literally. He literally can't even reach the ball. <laughs> ah, he's got leader. He's got leader. Yeah, he should have taken kickoff return. He should have taken kickoff return. Because, you know, orc throws are absolutely terrible. Um, so, yeah. But he didn't. Yeah, the plus strength hasn't done hasn't done anything. But you know, it kind of, it's kind of dissuaded uh, Dancer Leap Tins, right? Yeah, he's really he's really been twat magneted hard, hasn't he? This game keeps going for the tree. Who can say if it's right or wrong, or good or bad? <laughs> Many throwers are poor mobility wise, but none are as bad as Mr. Throw. Like, that's a weird thing to say, Raven, because he is the absolute worst. And five to six is a huge, a huge, like, thing down as well, right? Yeah, all the others are six, not one of them's moving five. He is. I, I guess there's the uh, there's the throw ra right who's agility two. You could argue he's less mobile, but even he's movement six. And no one's really no one's really getting a throw ra for the throwing players, are they? Yeah, it's pretty special how how slow Mister Throw is. Like he's so slow. And the 3D, I mean, this is a really good player to hit, isn't it? Edge 5 catcher. It's a lovely player to 3D. Well, Renegade Throw doesn't exist because he's in Blood Bowl too. Um, but yeah, the Renegade Throw is pretty horrendous, isn't he? What's he got? Safe pair of hands? Oof. At least Mr. Throw gets to, uh, gets like plus movement guaranteed, right, in Blood Bowl 3. He's got that going for him, I guess. He can be guaranteed movement seven. So. Now, okay, it could be a movement eight blitzer instead, but at least it's got something. At least it's got something. Something. There's a chance, isn't there? This blitzer. Man, wanting the tree to get the uh, orc in for the assist. Needs the pow. Gets it. Wait. Doesn't get it. It wasn't tackle. Oh my god, has to re-roll it. It wasn't tackle. Flip me. Three plus no reroll. Gets it. Is it three plus GFI as well? Gets it. <laughs> Flip me. Well, he's slower than his teammates, isn't he? Maybe? He's equal or slower than his teammates. But I mean, most throwers are slower than 
that captures, but he's, and I guess throws us on the blitzes as well. He's unique in that he's the only thrower, or in fact only positional, with a stat line worse than a lineman. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. They used to be all catchers, you know, back in back in second day. Um, like thatness. Hello, hello, Rick Basement. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh, safe pair of hands is about the most use useless skill there is, and then it actually doesn't even work in World Ball 3. Yeah, that's pretty funny. This random, uh, what's it, what's this called? Asymmetrical defense to get the uh, stand firm holding that. And that tackle protected behind him. And Chevron's other side. That's pretty decent defense, actually, with uh, down a man. And. How many? Seven. Oh yeah, that, that was the L's offense, so the L's have won the toss. Oh my god, sorry, I'm stupid here. So so seven seven L's have won the toss and have an Edge 5 catcher and a strength four dancer. Flip me with one reroll. Uh, human uh, orc catchers were uh, so there was no actual uh, there, there was no movement well there was movement but it wasn't like it is now and the AV was a bit different and um, but they were the, exactly the same as human catchers at the time um, human they just in the original like second ed Humans and orcs had identical stats. So there you go. So you could have a completely fair game in the box set. Humans versus orcs. A fair game. Hard to believe with how... How... Uh, <laughs> how unsame they are now. But there you go. Um, elves never baked cookies and trees. However, um, werewolves pissed on trees and ran away with bones and buried them. <laughs> there was no block dice back then. I mean, obviously there were dice, but just every you know all the stats were different. It was a weird. It was basically un unrecognizable from. You know, third edition Blood Bowl. Like, 1994 third edition Blood Bowl is pretty comparable to what we have now. Skellington's had catches, yeah. There was, like, there was no undead team. Like, well, there was... Uh, so there was none, There was one undead team that was, like, uh, Skellington's and stuff. But there was no whites or ghouls or anything. You had... You had undead stars. <laughs> undead champions. <laughs> And and they represented like, you know, whites or uh, ghouls or whatever, whatever you wanted. Obviously, there were mummies. Mummies were were kind of good. Honestly, it was it was it was cool <laughs> to use such a word erroneously. Um, you know, it was. There was lots of interesting things. I'm surprised he didn't just dodge this guy out, right? Where could he, where could he have gone? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. GFI, GFI. Mm. I guess this does the job here because he's got sidesteps, so he still holds this. But if you power mute and get it through, so you've got to just try and power him or dodge off. You can block him and then Mr. Throw hits the ball, doesn't he? It's Mr. Throw hits the ball. That's, that's, all, that's all that happens here. I've never played first edition, um, but there was a somewhat there was a blood greed rule in in 
the second edition, but it was unexciting. <laughs> it was unexciting. He's not hitting the ball. Mm. Don't think a single strength four war dancer is going to bring you much joy. <laughs> Uh, Undead did not have only two mummies there. Undead had however many mummies they wanted. The Champions of Death special team had two mummies. Gets the pow. Casses him. And then gets a 2 plus with dodge away to win. I mean, that doesn't seem like a good play to from the Orcs to hope your opponent won in 36s. He just had to make it. He had to make a 2D with it. With Mr. Throw. Like, he just had to. He just absolutely had to. That's like... It's a fundamental mistake, isn't it? Like, you know, you've got to... Uh, You've got to recognise there, like you know, as a chalice coach, that you have like that you have like one chance to stop the score, and it is not by basing a ball. <laughs> it's not by basing an elf, right? Basing an elf and hoping they fail a one in thirty-six is almost never, almost never going to be your best chance of, s of stopping a score. So there you go. Commiserations to. I've literally already forgotten the orc coach. Go, go, bay, and congratulations to Guido Baggins. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.